Hi, I'm Matt with Opto22. Today I'd like to show you how to use Node-RED on Groove to build an industrial Internet of Things application, all without having to write a single line of software code. That means you can build your industrial IoT application in minutes or days instead of weeks or months. Node-RED on Groove lets you exchange data from the physical world, like the operational status of this wind turbine or the temperature value from this sensor with the digital world of business applications and cloud computing. So how does it work? Well, information from the physical world, like the temperature in this room or the run status of this wind turbine, can be reported using sensors. And these sensors use physical electrical signals, like current and voltage, to report status or a value. But business applications and cloud-based software don't understand physical electrical signals. They understand digital information, which means for us to build an industrial IoT application, we need to convert those physical electrical signals into digital information that our cloud-based applications and business software can understand. Once those electrical signals are digitized into data, we can do all kinds of interesting things with it. And that's what I'm gonna show you today using a software tool called Node-RED, running on this secure, industrially hardened edge computing device we call the Groovebox. Node-RED is a visual software development tool used to exchange information from operations technology, or OT, like this wind turbine, with information technology, or IT. It does that by stitching together hardware devices, APIs, and cloud services. Node-RED's visual development environment lets you wire together pre-built and reusable blocks of software code called nodes. When nodes are wired together, they're called a flow. There's literally hundreds of free nodes and flows available from nodered.org that you can download and use in your application. There are nodes for protocols like Modbus and MQTT, and nodes for communicating with hardware devices like PACs and PLCs. There are nodes for business software like SQL databases and cloud applications like the IBM Watson IoT platform and Amazon Web Services. Let's take a look at how it's done. To access Node-RED, use your browser to navigate to the name or IP address of your Groovebox, followed by the port number for Groove Admin, which is 3000. Node-RED on Groove is secure, so you'll notice we're connected over secure sockets and we're required to authenticate with the username and password. From here, we can see the status of Node-RED, start and stop the application, and check what version of Node-RED the Groovebox is running. And under Project, I can manage my application by backing up or restoring flows and credentials. Or I can delete my project entirely and start over. On the Diagnostics page, I can view the detailed status of my application's run mode. All of these features are designed to make your application development workflow that much easier and to help with troubleshooting your application. And they're only available on the Groovebox implementation of Node-RED. So let's take a look at how easy it is to build a Node-RED flow. We start Node-RED by clicking the Node-RED editor button here. And then we arrive at a blank canvas where we'll create our flow. We'll start with a pretty simple example. I'll drag an inject node from the node palette here. Then I'll go back and find the snap pack node here and drag it onto the canvas. And finally, a debug node here. Now, click the circle here and drag to the next node and then to the next. We've just wired together a few nodes to create our first node red flow. Next, I'll configure the inject node to fire in an interval of two seconds. Then I'll configure my snap pack node for my temperature sensor. I've already set up my snap pack node to connect to the controller on my snap IO rack. You can find more info on the snap pack system and how to configure it for use with node red at developer.opto22.com. This node will query my turbine controller and the connected temperature sensor at the tag name air temperature probe one. Now I'll click deploy and boom, there it is. Over here in my debug window, I can see the temperature values as they scroll in every two seconds. So that was pretty easy, right? But how do we take what we've done here and turn that into a real world value add application for the industrial internet of things? Now that we're exchanging data between the physical world and the digital world, let's move that data into something like IBM's Watson IoT platform, where we can do all kinds of interesting things with it. First, I'll need to scroll down and find my Watson node from the node palette. I'll drag it onto the screen here. I'll wire the nodes together to bring the IBM Watson IoT platform into my node flow and I'll configure it with my IBM account credentials. I already have an account on IBM Bluemix, so I'll use those credentials. And finally, I'll click deploy. Okay, now I've got my control system data, in this case, my temperature sensor, connected to my cloud application, which is IBM's Watson IoT platform. But what about getting other data sources into my application, like web services, databases, and other cloud-based applications? All of that's possible with Node-RED too. 
For example, I can manually point my browser to the Weather Underground website and get the current weather report for Temecula, California, where Opta 22 is headquartered. But I can also request this information programmatically. It's done through an HTTP call to an API for the Weather Underground site. And when you do your RESTful API call, the data is returned in JSON format, which looks like this. JSON is a human-readable format that software applications, particularly Node-RED, understand. So let's go back to our Node-RED application. I've already created a flow for making this API call to get the weather, processing the JSON data that's returned, and making it available to my control program here on the turbine. Now I can make control and logic decisions based on information from the weather service. Or I can just choose to visualize the weather data in my Groove app project like this. So you can see there's a lot of really amazing things you can do with Node-RED on Groove. You can exchange data from the physical world, like control system data, with the digital world of cloud-based machine learning applications and predictive analytics software. Or devices in the physical world, like this wind turbine, can autonomously control themselves based off of data in the digital world, like the weather forecast from the Weather Underground site. And when you're ready to deploy your application into the real world, take a look at the Groove box from Opto22. It comes with all that Node-RED has to offer, plus it's an industrially hardened, secure, edge computing platform with additional tools for maintaining and supporting your application. To get started with Node-RED, you can download a free version from nodered.org and run it on your PC or even a Raspberry Pi. To find out more about Node-RED on Groove, visit developer.opto22.com.